Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, for my new Tesla um, subscribers, my name's Kevin. For the uh, Cobra guys, fear not. Uh, I'm still gonna be uploading a lot of good Cobra content. It's just I've been working a lot. And as you can see, it's been really bad weather. Um, today, I wanted to talk a little bit about owning an electric car, because again, I'm the last guy. If you asked me two years ago, I'd be the last guy in the world to tell you that I wanted to own an electric car. But I wanted to talk about owning an electric car and more specifically, charging an electric car. You know, I would say probably the biggest inhibitor of, of somebody wanting to own an electric car is range anxiety. So I have a few thoughts that I put together for you guys. We're gonna hop in the car and we're just gonna go over a few things. We'll talk about different ways to charge the car, how to charge it, how long it takes, and how much money. Uh, in the state of New Hampshire, we actually have pretty expensive electricity rates. That's just how it is. But we'll go to calculate it. So um, follow along here. We'll just uh, hop in the car. You can see the differences between the two blues. Uh, we'll just hop in here and we'll go over my commute. So my commute today, let me turn the screen brightness up. Crank it. Okay, so here we go. So we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna see that today, my commute was 62 miles, and I used 18 kilowatts. Um, the battery pack in this car is an 82 kilowatt battery, and I had my commute. Again, today was 62 miles. That's a longer commute than I normally have. I actually had to go uh, visit all of my stores today, and that, that's unusual. Usually it's only about 30 miles. Once you realize that the car will make it through the entire day, there's the I don't really have range anxiety unless you're on a big road trip. We'll go ahead, bring up the charging thing. We got 222 miles of range left. Again, I could do this route another three times easily and not worry about it. All right, so I also said I would talk about cost to charge up the electric car. So we'll just come right here. Again, we said the car used 18 kilowatts. So 18 kilowatts times 0.15. My electric bill in New Hampshire is 15 cents a kilowatt. So today I drove 60 miles and I used, it cost me electricity, $2.70 to drive 60 miles. Now my last daily driver, which was a Fiesta ST, it gets 30 miles a gallon. Gas is $3.50. So you would have to take $3.50 times two. It would be $7 in gas, but that's not the whole story actually, because my electric company is actually really pretty cool. And they installed what is called a time of use charger, which basically means they wanna to try to get the electrical demand to overnight from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. to make it a little easier on the electrical grid. So they give me a huge discount, 40%. 40% discount if I charge between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m. They only charge 8.7 cents a kilowatt. The other, on the other hand, if I charge it during the day, it's like 22 or 23 cents a kilowatt. But I would very rarely need to do that because again, it makes it every single day through the whole chart. Every day I can get through on one charge, so I'm not really gonna need to charge it in the day. So we'll just go ahead and redo the math here. So if it's 18 kilowatts times 0 0.0872, which is how much it costs uh, for the cheaper electrical rate, we can see that my daily commute costs me $1.57. I don't know what you're driving, but it's gonna be pretty hard to go 60 miles for $1.50. So that's really great. So now we'll just talk about charging it. So this is actually what's included um, with your Tesla when you buy it. Uh, I actually really like the case and they were smart enough to put Velcro on the bottom. And when it sits in the trunk, uh, the trunk is actually Velcro as well, which that's a really great thought. But it, there's so many things that are a little bit different with this car that are just such great ideas. So I don't use this. 
What I do use is the wall charger, which is over there, and we'll go over that in a minute. But for example, this is gonna charge at 110 volts, which is not that much. This is what your you know, standard outlet would charge. So this is a nice waterproof. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna plug this thing in, and I've actually not even tried this before. So we're gonna plug it in here. Okay, that's plugged in. We'll take the other end, bring it down over to the car. I think it's a 22 foot cord on this. And we're gonna just go ahead and you push this little captive button that opens up. You just stick it in. Now, this is only gonna be charging at 120 volts, probably 10 amps or 15 amps, which is not a lot of electricity. And we can get in here and take a peek. This is gonna charge the car incredibly slowly. So, my daily commute is now gonna take 17 hours to charge up. And the gasoline guy's like, aha, see? See how crappy this is. This is not how you want to charge the car. Um, this would be a type of an emergency that you would use this. This would be maybe, maybe your commute is five miles a day. If your commute is five miles a day, then yes, this, this, this could work. So right now we're pulling 12 amps at 120 volts. So what can you do to charge the car faster? Because we can agree 17 hours is an unacceptable time to charge a vehicle, especially when you only drove 62 miles. So there are ways to improve that. So what we'll do, we'll come back out We will unplug, there you go. So I'll try to put this up here. We'll put it down where it doesn't get scratched. The Tesla wall charger. Now, this is $500. I believe they should make it a little easier to get this. Uh, maybe they even include it with, with the purchase, but hey, that's just me. This runs at 240 volts with 60 amps, which is an insane difference. So again, it's very simple. You just take it off, put it right here, push this little button that opens up and pop it in. Now I don't mind charging because right now it's after nine o'clock and I'm getting the reduced eight cents a kilowatt. So we'll come in here now. We're gonna, just gonna take a peek at the difference. So before it was charging so slow, it didn't even register how many miles per hour was go charging at. But you can see two hours and 10 minutes to get to 90% battery. Now uh, it's actually probably gonna go up a little bit because as soon as this hits 48 amps, which it will pull 48 amps on the um, 60 amp breaker, this might even get down a little bit more. So two hours and 10 minutes, I don't think that's unreasonable at all. I mean, again, you're gonna be charging the car like I would every single night. So, you know, it doesn't really matter how long it, it takes as long as it gets fully charged for me, but I like having the faster way just because again, it's more convenient. If sometimes I get called back to work, I gotta get back out. To charge the car for one commute in two hours, that to me is, is totally fine. Again, you can see we're adding 43 miles of range for every hour it sits on the charger. So that's about it. I, I will get some cover footage soon, as soon as I uh, you know get a day off and it's not not pouring rain. I am hoping to take the Tesla to the dragway on Wednesday, run mid 11s, and I'm also getting some PPF and some window tint. So uh, follow along. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave any comments, uh, anything you have, and uh, thanks so much. Stay in touch, guys. Bye.